There we go. And this recording gets added in a couple different places. We add it to our Inside Real Estate YouTube channel. Uh, we do often post these in our Inside Real Estate Facebook group. I'll show you where those are located or a quick way to access them. And I also want to talk about how you can enroll for more of these sessions if you're interested. So first of all, I do have a text or sorry, a QR code on my screen. I was about to say text code, <laughs> a QR code on my screen that you can scan with your phone if you want to enroll in more sessions like these. Additionally, if you're a user within KD Core, you can head on over to our training calendar. Go click there and you'll see after you choose the time zone that best applies to you, you'll see these sessions are typically held every Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday of the week. Uh, so you're welcome to enroll in these at any time. The tips and tricks that we host uh, vary session to session. We usually try to have two sessions per week that are more focused on tools within KD Core, so perhaps a little bit more beginner focused or, or closer to the basics. There's usually one session per week, usually our Wednesday session, that can be a little bit more advanced. Um, and of course, these are also open Q&A, so if you have any questions about your KD Core platform, don't be shy. Feel free to pop those in the chat or Q&A at any time. If they're directly related to today's topic, I'll try to answer them as we go. If they're a little off topic, uh, I might save those towards the end and try to answer them then. But I'll try to make sure if you have a question that I'm getting it answered here for you. All right. So this is how you can go and enroll in the success meetup webinars. Additionally, if you want to know what the success meetup webinars will be before you decide to sign up, our Inside Real Estate Facebook group, which you can go to Facebook and look at groups and search for Inside Real Estate, or you can find the handy link up top here through our training calendar. We do try to make a habit of posting what the upcoming topics will be. So usually if you head on over to the Facebook group, which if you don't have the link, there it is in the chat. Um, if you do go to the Facebook group, what you can usually see in recent media or in the images, um, or if you're scrolling on down, you'll probably some, see somewhere with a green image like this that lists the upcoming topics. So today is how do text codes work? Uh, tomorrow is marketing musts for new agents. I believe that's with uh, Heather. Uh, and then additionally, Thursday is best practices for text message deliverability, which I believe is actually one of our West Coast trainers teaching that. So uh, a new face for you guys. All right, speaking of faces, <laughs> let me make sure I'm on camera too. Oh, and I already saw a question pop in the Q&A. Can I add photos to text within KD Core? Not to your text messages, but definitely to your emails. So great question. All right. Um, now, additionally, we do record all the success meetups. We do sometimes post them in the Facebook group, but we always make sure they're updated to our YouTube channel. So if you head to the Inside Real Estate YouTube channel and you go and you click on our playlist page, there is a playlist for success meetups exclusively. Um, I'll go quickly click there for you guys. There we are, playlists. And there is our success meetup page right there, kind of front and center, over 124 videos in that already. So feel free to check there if you'd like. All right, almost done with my housekeeping items. I promise we'll talk about text codes. <laughs> oh, and please make that a feature request. I'll make sure to, to pass that along. Um, definitely would say, let me scroll on down here uh, as well. If you're seeing in your KD Core account, a little uh, blue and white smiley face icon there, you might see an option if you scroll on down to the bottom, uh, share your product ideas. You can type in here something like, you know, I'd love to see the option to send photos in a text message. And typically, you know, the more we get requests for a specific feature in KD Core, the greater likelihood that that's something our development team will focus on next time they, you know, work out what our future roadmap will be, what future features we want to add into KD Core. So if you do have a feature request, uh, you can always go and click there and you can add that in here or let our support team know as well. You know, we definitely uh, we'll mention that internally if we hear a lot of requests for something, but that's kind of an official way that you can put those requests in too. 
All right. So we talked about success meetups. Should also probably introduce myself if you're new here. My name is Mariel Ortiz. I do teach a lot of these Tuesday success meetups. Not everyone. I won't be here next week. Um, but uh, I do teach a lot of these success meetups. If you've ever been to a KD Core orientation, how it works, building your pipeline, that's usually me as well. So uh, welcome. Every time I teach one of these success meetups, I like to create a handy document for you guys that has quick links to a lot of the topics that we'll be discussing here today. Quick links to various support articles on the different tools that we'll discuss. So as usual, I have created one for you guys. I'm going to make sure to share this out in the chat. We'll talk about what's on this document today, and then we'll start unpacking text code strategies. All right, so here is my guide going down in the chat. All right, folks. Now, if you want to create your own lead generation tools in KD Core, landing pages, squeeze pages, or text codes, you'll find them all in the lead engine in KD Core. We'll head there in a minute. Now, I've actually been teaching, you know, for the past couple of weeks, I've been teaching kind of a series of lead generation tools. Uh, two weeks ago, we talked about landing pages. Last week, we talked about squeeze pages. Today, we're talking about text codes. We're going to talk a little bit about how text codes work. They do require the use of your KD Core smart number. So if you're unfamiliar with the smart number, we'll talk a little bit about the smart number today. If there are specific questions, you know, we might spend a little bit of time on that, but I don't want to get too deep in the weeds. We actually have recently had a success meetup all about the smart number, called it KD Core Smart Number Explain. And I have actually popped that YouTube video into this guide if you want to catch that after, if you're still feeling a little, you know, have some questions about how that smart number works. Now, as I've kind of discussed, if you've been following kind of the series of lead gen tools, uh, just about every single webinar that I've taught about landing pages and squeeze pages, you know, I've incorporated this idea of planning your lead generation first. So think about who your target audience is. Why are you creating this lead gen tool? Where are you sharing this information out? And with a text code, you know, a lot of times that's going to be print advertising, but we'll also talk about different way places where you might want to put that text code today. Additionally, you're going to talk about what is your marketing goal? How many people are you hoping to reach with this? How many leads are you hoping to generate? So where are you going to share this out to ensure that it reaches the eyes or reaches the audience that you hope it to reach? And then also think about how are you going to follow up with those leads? Because Generating, you know, a thousand new leads for your database is only going to help you if you're able to convert those leads into future clients. So we want to have a follow up plan in place. We don't want to just add them to our CRM and let them grow cold. So we want to have a plan after the fact. Now, we'll also talk about, you know, creating text codes in KD Core. Uh, same with landing pages and squeeze pages. I show you how to build them. But I do want to mention, besides building your own custom text codes, you guys also get a default text code in KD Core. It's going to be some variation of your name. I'll show you what I mean. And then additionally, we've got tools like our Promote a Listing Playbook that can actually create text codes for you uh, based on the listing that you want to promote. So there's a couple ways that you can do it yourself. There's a couple ways KD Core can kind of do that for you. And then last but not least, we'll try to wrap up today with different KD Core tools that you can use to also share out those text codes and ways to follow up with the new leads that you generate. As always, with every one of my guides, I usually write in there a little challenge. I encourage you to try, oh, not a squeeze page, <laughs> create a text code. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. <laughs> create a text code definitely after today if you have not done so already. I definitely encourage you to try these tools out yourself because, you know, that's, that's the best indication or, or greatest likelihood that everything you learn here today is going to sink in if you're actually trying these tools out yourself. And I, am put, I added a lot of different articles, additional videos that go deeper into the different, you know, subjects we're talking about today. Maybe, you know, something I said just didn't quite hit, but maybe watch one of these other videos, maybe taught by a different trainer, and the way that they portray it just 
makes it all a clearer picture. So I, I try to always provide lots of resources for you. So you got some options. And then last but not least, I always try to post the recording link at the bottom of this guide. I usually update it same day because while we do push all these success meetup recordings to our YouTube channel, sometimes it can take, you know, 48 hours or a couple of days for us to get them up there. If you want to watch this recording later tonight or tomorrow, I always try to make sure I pop the recording link here. So if you don't want to catch all that, it's in the guide. I did share that out in the chat. I'll probably share it out again before we wrap things up here today. All right. <laughs> Starting at the top, let's head to the lead engine and talk about how text codes work. So in the lead engine section of your KD Core platform, this is where you're going to see those landing pages, text code or squeeze pages and text codes. Last two weeks, we talked about landing pages and squeeze pages, which again, you'll only see if you have a KD Core website because they use your website to create a link that you can share it online to generate new leads. Text codes, the concept here is you're building a code a lead will potentially text to your smart number in KD Core. And what that's going to do is it's going to capture their phone information, add it automatically to your smart CRM in KD Core, and you can choose the kind of follow up message that that person receives automatically when they text your code. So let's dive in. I'm going to click on Get Started here under Call and Text Capture. And there's a couple things to point out here. So it'll first say smart numbers on the left. This is not going to be the same number as your cell phone number. Your smart number is a digital number. And, you know, commonly, you know, if you're new to KV Core, usually the way we'll introduce it to you is we'll mention in the upper right hand corner, you'll see your name listed here. This is also where you'd find your profile information, a quick link to your website. But at the top, you'll see a phone number listed there. That is your KD Core smart number. It's most likely your office smart number. If you're part of a team, could be a team smart number. Um, or if you've purchased your own smart number, it could be your own smart number. Most users don't purchase their own smart numbers and don't really need to. Um, but most of you, as I mentioned, will have an office smart number. Now, this office smart number, <laughs> we're not going to get too deep in the weeds unless people have questions, because again, we've got a whole nother video on this, but to give you kind of the reader's digest version, here's what you need to know about your smart number. It is shared amongst the users of your office, um, which means that every agent in your office will see that same smart number. It's not going to be on your KD Core websites, but it is displayed usually on your office KD Core website. So that's the only place where it's usually kind of shared out. Now, do keep in mind, I'm showcasing my smart number in my demo account. You're going to see a different number in yours. When you go and check this out, if you haven't checked it out already, there's a couple things you're going to want to do with the smart number. Rule number one of the smart number is we don't want to call the smart number as agents. It's not for us to call. Uh, new leads could call this. Your, your repeat clients could call this. Um, and, you know, it's going to route appropriately. We'll talk about how it routes in a minute. We don't want to call it because what the system's going to do is it's going to think, oh, this is a new lead calling this, this, this number, and it might route it out to someone within your office. If it's not recognizing that that lead phone number belongs to anyone, it can route it out. What you do want to do with the smart number is you want to add it in your phone as a contact. Call it KB Core, call it smart number, uh, have an associate who's labeled hers as money, because the idea here is you want to know when that smart number is calling your phone, because it could be a new lead on the other end. It could be one of your repeat contacts that's responding to you. You want to make sure you're jumping to that. And then additionally, you may occasionally receive, say, uh, text messages from your admins or brokers through KB Core. They could be mass texting you through the smart number as well. So you want to know when your phone's trying to alert you that Kiwi Core is getting in contact. And then additionally with that smart number, we want to share it out with the contacts we do have in our CRM. 
So repeat contacts and clients, just introduce it as possibly your, your work number, or I know some people say digital number, whatever you feel more, more comfortable with, uh, especially if you're kind of just new to KV Core, maybe you're reintroducing your contacts uh, or re-engaging with your contacts, let them know, hey, I've got a new website. I'd love if you check it out. And by the way, I've got a new office number. If you don't mind, add this as a contact in your phone. So that way, if you receive a text or a call from it, it's just me on the other end. Now, what we don't want to do with that is we don't want to put this smart number directly on our KV Core websites. We don't want to put it necessarily on our business cards unless, you know, you're again, you're purchasing your own smart number, in which case it would be owned specifically by you. And we don't want to necessarily introduce that to brand new leads without a text code. So we'll talk about how text codes help in a second here. Text codes can help redirect new leads texting that number specifically to you. But for your existing contacts, the smart number you know, it's called a smart number for a reason. It's very smart. It can identify the contacts in your CRM. And if you say, you know, uh, send them a text message through the desktop version of your KV Core platform, and they receive that text message from, say, that smart number, and they respond, the system knows, oh, hey, that's, you know, so and so's lead. I see it in their CRM. I'm going to route that text message back to them and only them. So that's why it's okay to share this number out with people in your CRM, but not something you want to share to new leads without a text code. That text code is the extra component that helps route new leads to you. So that's a little bit about the smart number there. Um, let's talk about why, you know, text codes are so helpful in routing, you know, say new leads to you. So I mentioned text code is a lead generation tool. We can put this anywhere. It doesn't have to only be exposed to our current clients. If anyone texts a code that we create in KV Core, that code is exclusive to us and our account. And that way the system knows to route those leads that text that code to us. All right. Now, when they're texting that code, they are texting it to your smart number. But again, the text code is either created for you in KV Core or created by you in KV Core. So you're going to have a default text code. That's what we see on the right hand side, our agent text code. And it's going to be some variation of your name. I just happen to have a pretty unique name and we're not seeing it in any other accounts within my office. So that's my why my text code, my personal text code is my name. Some of you out there with a more common name like Sarah or Michael or John, you might see, you know, your name and maybe a, you know, uh, the letter of the last initial of your last name or something like that. So some variation of your name is your personal text code. Now you can use this text code. You could put that on print advertising. Maybe I want to put this in something like my email signature and my KD Core profile and put a little message there that says, hey, uh, for more deals uh, uh, for uh, more information on home deals in San Diego, text code Marielle to this number for details. And I could just put that at the bottom of my email signature. That's one way, one example that I could use a text code. Now, for some of you out there, you might not want to share out a text code that is your name. Maybe you want it to be more relevant to the kind of information that you're sharing out. And again, you know, homes in San Diego is just one item here, one possible scenario. You can create these for lots of different purposes. So let's talk about creating your own text codes in KB Core. If I go to click add new, here's what it's going to give me. It's going to ask what I want my code to be. I can put any word I want here or a couple words if I want to, spaces are allowed. Um, I would typically keep it something kind of short and sweet. We don't want people to, you know, <laughs> uh, accidentally misspell our text code and not get the results they're looking for. So we want to make it something that's going to be easy and quick to text. Um, and also, you know, think about it. If you're posting on things like flyers and sign writers, short and sweet is probably best because if they're just driving by in the moment, they see it and they decide to text it, you want to make sure that they grab it easily. After you decide what your code will be, you get to choose what kind of message they receive when they text your code. You 
they all automatically, whatever, whoever texts your code, their phone numbers are automatically added to your CRM. That's something KV Core does for you. So you don't even have to think twice about that. But you can decide what kind of message they receive in response. So a very common example might be, you know, maybe I have this on a sign writer in front of, you know, a house that I've that uh, is, you know, for sale. And maybe I make the code, you know, the street address one, two, three, Main Street text code one, two, three, Main Street to this number to find more information about this house, pricing information, photos, whatever you'd like to share. And in which case I can either choose MLS ID and I put in the, the address or the MLS ID for that listing, you know, one, two, three main street, I would type it in there. And that's going to send them a link to the listing on your site. Additionally, I could choose or not additionally, otherwise either or situation here, I could choose to send them a specific message. So maybe I craft out, you know, a specific message. Hi, thanks for texting my code. Here's the information you requested on 123 Main Street. And you give them that link to your website. Um, and it can be a direct link to your website. Uh, if you were following along with the past two weeks where we created squeeze pages and text codes, you could pop a squeeze page link in there. You could use the short link. Um, lots of different variations that you could pop in there, but whatever kind of information you wanna share out in a text message, you could pop that in here. So that's what they're gonna receive in response. Additionally, you're gonna to wanna to probably assign them a hashtag. So hashtags for anyone who's new here are any kind of label of your choosing. It's one of the ways you organize your contacts in your database. Now, when they text your code, they're gonna come in as a new lead, probably gonna come in as a buyer, but you can hashtag them or label them however you like. So for this one, you know, if I'm promoting 123 Main Street and that's the information that I'm sending to them, I might want the hashtag to be something related to that. So it's a little reminder to me of where that lead was captured from and the kind of information they were looking for. So I might make the hashtag the same, one, two, three, Main Street. Keep it, keep it simple. Just keep in mind the one thing with your hashtags is there's no spaces in your hashtags. I could get a little fancy with this, you know, um, <laughs> if, you know, I always like to mention, you know, if it drives you nuts that your hashtags are all one word, use an underscore if you'd like. So. Uh, one, two, three, underscore, main, underscore, street. There you go. That would be an acceptable hashtag as well. And then smart number. Now, most of you will probably just have one smart number. You'll probably just have your office smart number. Double check that whatever, you know, if you are seeing multiple options here, double check that whatever number you're selecting is the same number you see in your little drop down menu in the upper right hand corner. Um, most of you guys won't have multiples here. This demo account is quite intense. <laughs> There's a lot of offices and teams that this demo account is a part of. But if you are seeing multiples, double check the smart number that you're choosing. And if you're not quite sure, you can always add it. Oh, let me go and pop in, I'm gonna pop in a random address from my website here, just to make it official and add it in. After a brief but dramatic pause. We'll think about it, or let's just put a message in because that'll be faster there. So I'm gonna do a message and I'm just gonna say type message here. Now that's not what you're gonna wanna type in yours, but we'll pretend you know, I, I took my time and I, I put a very elegant, well-worded message in there. Okay, folks. <laughs> so there's my message and I'm gonna go and add it. Now, something to be aware of Again, it's looking at your text codes in here. If I had, if someone else in my brokerage had already created the exact same text code, I wouldn't see that as an, as an option here. So your text codes are gonna be unique to you. If you create that text code, um, <laughs> that is yours. You're not building the same one over and over. So you don't have to worry about, you know, exactly remembering every single text code. Keep in mind, every code you make is also listed here. You can always remove them if you want to delete one. Um, you can also edit the messaging if you go back and you realize, oops, I grabbed the wrong, you know, smart number for that. Or, oops, you know, I want to update the messaging on this code. So, you know, always adjust it later if you'd like to. And it'll show you what your code was, 
it'll show you if you chose the MLS ID, that's what your MLS to send is. So it's showing you the listing that it's sharing. Message to send is if you opted to send them a message in response, and it'll give you it'll give you the start to that message. And then it's going to show you what smart number it's associated with, what hashtag you chose for those. And of course, you can always edit it as well. All right, so other uses for text codes. Now, if you're familiar with KD Core and familiar specifically with things like our playbooks, we have what's called a playbook called Promote My Listing or promote your new listing, promote promote a new listing playbook, <laughs> something uh, to that effect that will walk you through steps to utilize tools in KD Core to promote your listing. Now, if you want a text code created for you, this tool can actually do that for you. If you have a listing to promote, this is a very common use for a text code. Um, this playbook actually creates a custom text code for your listing. So it's usually some variation, again, of the home address. And then again, when they text your code, wherever you put it, um, it's going to send them a link to that listing on your site. So this is one way that I actually can create it for you. You can, of course, create your own. So definitely to promote a single listing is a very popular use for text codes. But it doesn't have to be the only thing that you use a text code for. Um, additionally, think about the other tools in KB Core that you use for, for lead gen. Maybe you want to, maybe rather than, you know, targeting buyers, maybe you're looking to target more homeowners. While you can create things like squeeze pages and landing pages to direct users to, say, sign up for a home valuation on your KB Core website, you could do the same thing with a text code as well. Your text codes could say, hey, uh, you know, text code home valuation to find out how much your home is worth. It's going to, you know, of course, grab their phone number. And then your response, your message to send with them would be, hi, thank you for responding. Please reply with your home address and an email, and we will send this out to you promptly. And that could be something you do, or you could say, hi, thank you for your interest. Here is the link to our website where you can sign up for a home valuation and you just send them the link to your cell tab. Now, you can also do that for market reports on your site. You could send them to different information on your site. Hi, interested in following our blog on you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you blog about. Here is a link, you know, text this code to be shared a link to blogs on our website. Maybe it has nothing directly to do with your KD Core website or lead generation directly. Maybe you're trying to capture leads in, in a different way. Maybe you make a competition of some sort. Hi, uh, you know, notice that you were interested in homes in this area. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, think about some sort of event or, or um, local interest that's near you. Um, so I saw that you were interested in homes in San Diego. Are you a baseball fan? Text the code below to get entered in our drawing for two free tickets to, you know, this, uh, our San Diego Padres game sometime in the future, something like that. So you could do it for different competitions, things like that. Um, I've had situations where some agents might create text codes that they share out at their open houses in different rooms. And maybe it's text code uh, local restaurants to be presented with a list of restaurants local to this home. So then again, you're, you're playing, you know, you're adding interest to this open house that you're sharing out and showing all the benefits of, you know, that local area. And they can just go and text that code and you could just send them a link to, you know, local restaurants in the area, or maybe you create that restaurants in the area as a custom page on your website. And that's what you direct them to. So they're also on your website as well. Uh, and then maybe a different room in your open house, there's a text code on, you know, some sort of uh, banner or some sort of pamphlet or something. It says, uh, interested in schools in this area, 
text code school district to this number and then do the same sort of thing. So all different ways, if you have valuable information to share, you can prompt people or direct people to it with your text codes. So lots of ways that you can use this. I definitely also know brokerages and teams looking to recruit, create something like a text code that says text code recruit, text code join today uh, if you're looking to join a top producing team and then maybe you direct them to sign up somewhere probably on your kb core website but lots of other where places that you could direct them to as well or you know just have them text you and then you can send them some sort of link to fill out an application or book a time with you all right, so lots of different ways that you can use these text codes in KV Core. They can be created for you uh, is using something like the Promote a Listing Playbook. You can use the default text codes. You can use them interchangeably with different features in KV Core as well. So let's go back to my guide real quick and see what things we've kind of hit on. If there's any questions so far, let me take a breather here. Feel free to pop them in the chat or Q&A, whether they're related to text codes or something else in KE Core. All right. So we talked a little bit about, you know, where text codes are found, where you can go to build your own. Talked a little bit about how they work. Again, they capture a phone number. If someone texts your code, and they send them information in response. They are going to utilize your smart number. So make sure you're familiar with that smart number. Um, again, if you're ever trying to generate new leads, you only want to share that smart number in addition to something like a text code. You want them to text your code to your smart number, not just directly text your smart number. The smart number would be okay for contacts you already have in your CRM and KV core. Additionally, when you're planning out any lead generation tool, think about who you're targeting, what your purpose is. We'll also talk about how we're going to follow up with those leads as well. You know, part of it is that initial message that they receive, but you also want to think about what's your going to be your next step from there. Do you want to also put them on a smart campaign? Do you want to set yourself up with task reminders to follow up with them after that? Now, keep in mind, you're only capturing their cell phone number. So you could put them on a campaign that maybe sends them text messages, or you could have a regular best practice of making sure you call them to check in. Or some at some juncture, after you've captured their cell phone number, you might also want to consider asking for an email address. That way you can put them on things like home valuations, search alerts, market reports, or also send out email messaging. Now, besides the, uh, you know, besides ways to, you know, post also, you know, maybe share out squeeze page links, um, you know, putting text codes that direct users back to your custom pages or blog posts or information on your website. You might also want to consider if you're building something like a text code, you know, definitely print advertising is the first place, you know, we kind of mentioned to put it but you can't put that everywhere. I mentioned in your email signature might be a good place to put a text code. Um, you can incorporate that anywhere that you're adding information to your website. So additionally, if you created a custom page about information, maybe somewhere in that message, you say, and by the way, if you want more information on this, text this code. So you could put them there as well. You can kind of recycle them and use them in multiple places. Again, that's gonna expand your audience, expand the number of individuals that are seeing that code and potentially texting it. Additionally, while you can, you know, say create a text code that sends someone a message that directs them to a squeeze page link that you built, you can also build a landing page. If you guys remember from a couple of weeks back when we talked about landing pages, you can actually build a landing page that showcases a text code. If you don't remember, let's have a quick refresher of that. And then we'll also talk about the Craigslist auto poster, which can use a text code in KV Core. So heading back into KV Core, I'm going to click on the lead engine again. And if you joined us a couple of weeks ago, we talked about building landing pages in KV Core. You'll choose your KV Core website. 
<laughs> there you go, your domain name, you'll click start building and you can build, you know, a one page website that advertises whatever you like and, you know, can capture lead information, you know, direct them to your website. There's a couple different variations when you're creating things like a landing page, but they always are, you know, kind of a one page website that you share out. So there is an option with the templates that you'll see on the left hand side at the top of your landing pages if you were to go to build them. And just I know we're not going to totally, you know, uh, unpack everything here today. Uh, but if you are, if you missed our webinar on how to build landing pages last week, if you're creating these, you always want to start left to right at the top here, fill out all these boxes. And then before you hit save, make sure you're also editing your text. You click in once to any of these boxes to edit the text. If you want to remove a box, you double click, okay? But starting at the top left-hand corner, we choose our template. Now, if you specifically want to use a text code and a landing page, you're gonna to go to our text lead landing page template. All you need to do for this is you enter in whatever your text code is. You will need to create the text code first. You get to choose your background image and then you change what your text says here. So let's use that example that I had from my text codes here. Let's go back to 123 Main Street. I think actually I did to create a couple of variations of 123 Main Street there. But let's use that example here. So going back to my custom page that I'm building, I enter in what I want the text code to be that's shown. It's 123 Main Street. That's the one I've created already. So 123 Main Street, you want to make sure that the um, number matches as well. Um, so make sure you're choosing the correct number uh, on that page. So it looks like I might have a different one linked there. I might have to double check that here. And then for my background image, what do we want to displaying in the background of this landing page? Kiwi Core has a lot of uh, great um, you know, library of images that you can use. Additionally, if this was a specific listing on my site, I could add in a custom background or I could use a primary MLS image. So let's say, did this load up here? I know this is not 123 Main Street, but let's pretend that this was the listing that I'm promoting. I could go and I could grab that MLS ID number. Let it load on up. There's that MLS ID number. Let's pretend that's the listing I'm showcasing here. Oop, grab it. All right, go back to my page. And then when I'm selecting my background image, I can pop, pop in that MLS ID number here and click OK. And there we go. There's the background image updated. So you can make it really relevant to your specific listing that are, you're showcasing there. Or again, maybe they're texting because they want to find about lots of listings in San Diego. Maybe you're directing them back to sign up for a market report on your website. So maybe you choose a different image there. Feel free to choose whatever's relevant to what your text code is about. Now, before I hit the Save button, I want to edit my text. So what I'm offering here is, you know, information on 123 Main Street. Maybe I'm using this to promote uh, my open house that's happening. So maybe that's that's probably going to be a good reason or occasion to, to make these additional posts. We want to get attention out there. So I might say something like um, uh, 123... Main Street uh, open house this weekend. There we go. And, you know, uh, might write something in here like text the code below for below for details. And then I could always go and I could just my text code to to include details about the hope and open house. Or if it's not for an open house, again, I can direct them back to the link on my website. Click the link below for details on this listing, uh, for the price, for more photos, for more information. I could also include listing information in these text boxes if I like, or if I wanna just keep it short and sweet, I just double click any box that I want to delete. 
Do be aware that if you uh, double click any of the boxes to delete them, you cannot add them back in. So you'll instead probably want to, you know, refresh or create a brand new landing page. Okay, so once you make those changes, uh, and especially after you save them, you can't go back and edit them. So just something to note there. But I could go and I could save this and then I can also post that out online. And that way I'm getting my text code out multiple places. So I also share this out online. And there are, if you click on the little green icon in the left hand corner, that little share button makes it very easy to share this out on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. And then of course I could grab the URL and I could put it anywhere online I like if I wanna also add it on my Instagram, um, something like that. All right. So that's a little bit about landing pages, how to incorporate your text codes into landing pages. Let's also talk about the Craigslist auto poster. Now I have done a whole success meetup webinar on text codes in, 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 uh, in relation to the Craigslist auto poster in the past, but that was you know many months ago. If you missed it, let's quickly talk about the Craigslist auto poster. So if any of you guys have a habit of posting to Craigslist, posting your listings to Craigslist, um, here in KV Core, we have a tool called the Craigslist Auto Poster. It is a one-time download. It's a browser extension that you can add to your, your web browser. And whenever you go to KV Core to say, share out a listing, um, you have an option. Let me just go and Let's click on this first listing here. Why not? You have an option where you can actually go and post it to Craigslist. Now it will it does require the browser extension first. Pretty easy to set up. Um, there is a link to that browser extension in the support article on the Craigslist auto poster. And I have included that support article in my guide for you guys. So you can click here, download, it's pretty easy to set up. It looks kind of, it's gonna to be too small for you guys probably to see on your end, but there's a little blue and white icon up there that is my Craigslist auto poster. I just make sure I'm choosing where those postings are going to. So I just select my area um, of the United States that I'm posting these to. All right. And then once you've got that set up, you find your listing in KV Core and you post to Craigslist. So I always think this is a fun one to demonstrate because it's very hands-free. I'm going to click one button here. I'm choosing where it is that I'm, you know, which location fits best for this particular posting. I will admit, I don't, I think I even looked at the area of the listing I'm uh, sharing out here. So I'm just going to click a random one here. We'll say city of San Diego. And then I'm going to keep my hands off the keyboard because in a matter of seconds, it's creating the posting for me. It adds in the title, the description, the photo images, the location on a map. And then it also adds in my default text code. All right. Now, this is an unpublished draft. Uh, I can make whatever changes I like before I publish this on Craigslist. And keep in mind, if someone directly replies to the Craigslist posting, I'll check that on Craigslist. But KD Core has a sneaky little way that they've added in a text code here to also try to capture leads automatically to add back to KD Core. So here's what I'm talking about. If I scroll down, we see that photo image, we see the, you know, the location. And underneath is the description of the house. I had to do no work here, does it all for me. At the bottom, what the Craigslist auto poster will do automatically is insert your default agent text codes. Again, the one that's the ver some variation of your name. So send text Marielle to this number for more details and photos of this property. So to my smart number for more details and photos of this property. So automatically, again, someone's gonna text my default code and it's gonna send them, you know, whatever I've got set up as my kind of default message in response. So I'm capturing their phone number automatically if they're texting this code and it does that for you. Now, again, if you created a custom text code specifically for this listing, just feel free to edit this post. There we go. Go down to your description here. And maybe instead of Marielle, you know, we'll pretend this was 123 Main Street. So maybe I put in text code 123 Main Street to that number. 
for more photos and details of the property. And then after that, just go ahead and I could publish this. Continue and then publish is what I would do in that instant. I'm not gonna actually publish it because it's not my listing here, but just to give you a little demonstration of how that works. Okay, folks. So a couple different places and ways that you can use those Craigslist, uh, or those, sorry, those text codes in your KV Core platform. Do we have any questions? We're running a little short on time here. I wanna pause and open the floor for questions. If there's no questions, we'll talk about following up with those leads, but I'm very curious to hear if anyone has questions, whether it be about text codes or something else in KB Core. Keep in mind, every success meetup is open Q&A. So if there's something, you know, uh, a question that's burning a hole in your pocket about your KB Core platform, feel free to share it out. All right, let's see. Q&A, how do we get their name when they text? Um, so it does actually capture their phone number, but KD Core also does try to validate the lead. Now this one happened to, oh yeah, absolutely. I'll share it in the chat, a link to the Google Doc. Um, so I did actually, you know, text my own code for fun here. I will say it doesn't always pull up information. Sometimes it'll pull up, you'll see the cell phone number listed there instead of their name. Um, but it does grab their phone number here and every single lead that you could add to KV Core, whether you grab their phone number or their email address, it's going to take that information and try to validate it for you automatically online. You can usually see to the left of any lead a little um, a little badge here. There's hopefully a green check mark in it. That means that lead's been validated. So what it did was it val uh, ran validation and based on my phone number, it pulled up name found and updated and updated it for me to my name here and gender was female. So that's what it found on my cell phone number. So a lot of times it can add that for you. Won't always pull it up. It's going to, you know, search online for that information, but that might also be something that if you're continuing kind of a text change with them might also ask, hi, and can I get a name for that? Just so I can make sure that, uh, you know, including that in my email correspondence. So I'm sure you can find a polite way just to ask for that. And I know uh, Harold in the chat asked for my uh, guide. Let me share that out with you guys. If you missed it earlier, here we go is the guide going down in the chat. And then I think I saw another question in the Q and A. Let's see. All right, can you do it with Facebook Marketplace? Um, I don't know why you couldn't post a, a text codes to your your Facebook page, or sorry, not text a code to your Facebook page, but definitely post a, a, a text code on your Facebook page or use it in combination with some sort of advertising. Absolutely. Um, I can't see any reason why you couldn't include that text code somewhere like that. Absolutely. All right. So let's talk a little bit about following up with those leads. So keep in mind, again, if we're using the text code method, it's definitely capturing phone number, um, but you may have to request an email address. Same kind of the flip side to say the other lead gen tools we've been talking about, landing pages and squeeze pages, typically with those options, uh, email is usually what we make mandatory and cell phones usually optional. So you could do kind of a combination as well. I've known some people who, you know, maybe, you know, provide a text code and then with the text code, they share out a link to a squeeze page. That squeeze page directs the lead to the website and the website will prompt them to register with an email address. And that way you're capturing both pieces of information something that you could do there, um, you know, or additionally, you could ask for that information or kind of use them in combination. But do think about that when you're capturing leads. So if I'm using more text codes, then my, you know, main forms of follow-up are going to include text messages, or I'm going to follow them up with a phone call. If I'm using something like a landing or a squeeze page, my correspondence is probably going to be something like emails, unless I've also captured their cell phone number. So just kind of have that in your mind when you're planning follow-up. Now you can build a smart campaign that's nothing but text messages. Most of the smart campaigns pre-created in Kiwi Core 
are a combination of messages. They'll usually schedule calls for you to complete, uh, you know, schedule, give, give you task reminders to check in with them. They'll probably send out text messages and also emails. But if you're, uh, you know, using one of these lead generation tools, you might want to tailor some of those um, specifically to the audience you're capturing. So let's talk a little bit uh, about that. So my text code was 123 Main Street, and I think the hashtag was also 123 Main Street. So here we go, text code 123 Main Street, hashtag 123 Main Street. Now, I could just have a plan to put them, whenever they get captured, they'll come in as a new lead buyer. I could just have them automatically get sent the default new lead buyer smart campaign. Let's open up our smart campaigns in marketing just to talk about that real quick. So marketing, here's our smart campaigns. If you're new to KV Core, these are, you know, uh, our kind of version of drip campaigns here. Again, they can send out a variation of messages. And the default for new leads who come in as buyers would be the default new lead buyer campaign. If you're new to KV Core, you typically have this campaign um, already turned on somewhere in your account. I think it might be new leads buyer or default new lead buyer. There we go. New lead buyer. Here we go up at the top. Now, when I go click on this, you probably won't have as many copies as you see in my demo account. You'll probably just have one copy of this campaign on by, by default. And this is what can automatically apply. So it's gonna you know, give you a task to follow them up with a task, uh, a text. <laughs> it's gonna you know, encourage you to call, and leave a voicemail. After seven minutes, it sends them a text message. If you didn't have their email address, obviously it wouldn't be able to send out that email. So skip to the next action where it schedules calls and text messages. And so it kind of goes through this, this pattern of you know, call, email, text, call, email, text. If you wanted to create something that's tailored to the people texting your code, 123 Main Street, you could build your own variation of this campaign or you could build a campaign from scratch. So maybe I decide to make a copy of this campaign for follow-up. I go and I clone the campaign. Now, very first item when I'm cloning or copying a campaign is I'm checking the logic. How is this triggered to attach to that lead? Rather than having it just triggered for new leads who are buyers, this is very specific. It's based on their hashtag. I want this only to apply to people who get that hashtag one, two, three main street because they texted my code. So I would type in hashtag is, I would type in whatever that hashtag was that I created when I built my text code. Um, always run and locked, we can leave those as no. So if nothing else, we really need to change on this page. We just wanna have the campaign triggered based on our hashtag. We'll hit the next button here. We'll decide who it's designed for. Is this just for buyers? Is it for sellers? Is it for all deal types? Anyone you know who has that hashtag, doesn't matter where they get this campaign. You could decide that. You'll hit the next button. And for set details, we're naming this campaign. So I probably don't want to leave it as the default new buyer campaign. I probably want to make sure uh, I'm changing this so it's relevant to, you know, who the campaign is meant for. So in this case, I'd probably remove the name entirely and I might do it something like one, two, three Main Street campaign or uh, you know, listing text code campaign. Cause maybe rather than you know having the message be very specific to one individual listing, maybe I make sure that those messages are just a kind of more generalized message that I would send to anyone who say texted a text code about a listing that I posted. So I could do that too. I could just try to make sure my messaging is very uh, kind of more broad. Description, um, originally it was the system default for buyer leads whose status is new lead. This campaign is a campaign. And again, it's just for you, whatever you put in the description, you're the only one who's reading that. So it's just to help remember, remind you of what this campaign is for. Um, campaign for new leads generated with one, two, three 
Main Street tax code. There we go. So that's what I'm choosing here. I'll hit next. Make sure that that all looks correct and we'll finish it. And then at this stage, again, the actions inside the campaign, since I just made a copy of the previous campaign and just changed the trigger or changed how it functions, the messaging, the actions inside are still the same. So if I want to make this just a text-based campaign or text and call-based campaign, I might want to remove, say, out some of the emails. Now, if you're removing any steps in your campaign, keep in mind it's going to create some gaps there. So I might want to also add in some actions where an email would have been, maybe put a text message there or a call or some sort of other message for follow-up. And this is how you could create some kind of tailored follow-up for them. All right, I know I missed a message in the Q&A. Let's see. If we add a link to the call and text capture code method message, will it be clickable? Yes, absolutely, it is clickable. So yeah, absolutely. So definitely, you know, that's typically what we're doing in a lot of those text codes is we're usually providing them a link that's gonna send them to other information. So try to make that that's easy to click in your uh, platform. Now, while I don't encourage you guys to use your own smart number, uh, if you want to test this out, feel free to create a text code with your smart number and have a friend or a family member um, you know, whether they're in your database or not, text your code and see what text message they receive and see how that gets added to your KV Core platform. And if you're getting really advanced with it, maybe even creating something like a follow-up smart campaign, double check that campaign triggers. Um, now, definitely there's other handy ways to follow up with your new leads in KV Core, but a lot of things like search alerts, market reports, um, reports and Things like home valuations are going to require an email address. So if you're asking for those, uh, make sure you're also asking for email or ask for email. <laughs> Just a little note for you guys. All right, folks, we're at the end of time. I apologize. I got to wrap it up here. But thank you so much for your time and your attention for those excellent questions in the chat and Q&A. Uh, I did just pop in that guide. If you missed it earlier, you should be able to click that link in the Zoom chat to open this up on your end and you know, just bookmark this one for later. Give me a couple hours from now. By the end of day today, I'll come back to the sheet and add at the bottom our recording. Or if you're not catching it here again, feel free to check out the KV Core e, or sorry, the Inside Real Estate YouTube channel and you can catch all past recordings there. Thanks so much for joining guys and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.